Hi, I'm Father Joe Roche. I'm on vacation in Florida. We're remembering all those people affected by the hurricane in Texas right now. In the last uh, Marian Helper, I wrote to you about the 30th anniversary of the beatification of Blessed George, which took place in Mariampole, Lithuania. There were three things that really struck me. First of all, there was the tremendous sign from heaven, I think of the sanctity of Blessed George, the ring around the sun. Now, apparently there's a scientific explanation for that, just like there is of a rainbow. But the fact that we saw it that day on the 30th anniversary of the beatification, that everyone saw it, and that it took place during the Eucharistic procession, for us it was a sign of the holiness of Blessed George. The second thing was the story that the bishop told of the conversion of a KGB agent 30 years before. It took place in Mariampole. The beatification was in Rome, but there was a large gathering in Mariampole. Several agents were sent there by the Soviet Union to keep guard over the crowd, and one of them received the grace of conversion, a tremendous grace from God, a sign of the holiness of Blessed George. And finally, the fact that Blessed George now can be remembered and canonized if a miracle is uh, recognized through his intercession, but not as many people know about him as could, could know about him. Many of us know his name and his face, but we don't know his story. We don't really know him as a person. So it would be important for all of us to come to know Blessed George now. There's nothing to stop his uh, canonization except a miracle. And so we should distribute his holy cards to hospitals and to the sick, those in need of intercession, that with the grace of God, one of them could be granted a miracle through the intercession of Blessed George, and he could be soon raised to the honors of the altar as a saint for the great uh, country of Lithuania and for the world. God bless you.